So to start off this video, let's talk about what essential amino acids are versus non-essential amino acids. There are 20 total amino acids and there are 11 non-essential amino acids and there are 9 essential amino acids. Now non-essential amino acids are ones that you don't have to consume. You don't have to eat them in order to have them in your body. You can eat them, but if you're not eating enough of them or not eating any of them, your body will actually make them. But there are 9 amino acids that your body does not make. You have to consume them. Uh, I'm not going to list them, um, but you know you, you have to consume them and you have to consume them in the right proportion. So that's where uh, complete and incomplete proteins come to play. So uh, incomplete proteins have all nine essential amino acids. Complete proteins have all nine essential amino acids. So they're, they're similar in that respect. They both have all essential amino acids that we need as humans, but complete proteins have them in the right proportion. Uh, like the correct proportion, you need like different amounts of methionine, you need different amounts of histidine and isoleucine and things like that. Um, and incomplete proteins may have more methionine, they may have less histidine, they may have more uh, phenylalanine or tryptophan, whatever. But the thing about all these foods that have incomplete amino acid profiles is that you can eat more of one fruit or uh, vegetable or grain and you'll get more of one amino acid. And you can eat more of another thing and get more of a different amino acid. Now, I don't know all the amino acid profiles of all the food I eat. I just make sure I get enough food. Because if you basically, if you're on like a vegan diet, as long as you get enough food, you're going to get enough of all the amino acids. Uh, they need to make up all the protein that you need in your body. So that's basically why incomplete protein versus complete protein doesn't really make a complete protein all that more beneficial because your body can just combine them. And uh, another myth that I want to dispel is the fact that you need to eat all of these uh, complementary proteins, is what they're called, uh, say like rice and beans or grains and legumes, uh, since grains lack uh, certain amino acids, not so much that they don't have them, they just may not have as much as them, and beans have more of these amino acids that grains don't have as much of. So a lot of times grains and legumes will be eaten together because people think that, oh well, I'm just going to be eating them together because it'll make it more of a complete protein or be like complementary to each other. And you know, that's true, that uh, grains and legumes, uh, they will make a complete protein, but you don't need to eat them at the same meal. You don't even need to eat them at the same day. Because uh, your body doesn't just get rid of all the protein you eat in a day, like, oh, I'm going to use it up and then be done with it. No, like, your body holds on to it. Your body will recycle, uh, like, one to 300 grams of protein a day. Uh, so if you if you don't eat anything with protein in it, which the only way you could actually do that, even on a vegan diet, would be consuming only refined sugar, water, uh, only refined oils. That's the, that's the only way to not get any protein for a whole day. Or just not eat. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you were to do that, you would still have protein in your body because your body is not just going to like throw it away because you didn't eat or because you didn't have protein uh, one day. Your body's going to hold it and save it for a rainy day if like uh, say you couldn't find any food out in like in nature. So another myth that is that there are no complete proteins in the plant world and that is false because I could list two of them right now. There's quinoa and spinach are known for being complete proteins. I, I think there may be other ones. Those are the only two that I know of though. Uh, so the only thing that makes them a complete protein though is that they have the exact proportion of the amino acids that we as humans need. But like I said, we could just eat them and as long as you're eating a variety of foods, you'll get enough of them. And I mean, like even if you were to eat uh, like only bananas for a day or something, like only rice for a whole day, as long as you're eating enough of it, because it still has all the nine essential amino acids, you'll just get way more of some amino acids and then you'll probably just get like 100% of your daily value of other ones versus like if you were to eat a bunch of meat or something, you would just get way more of all the amino acids, but you know, more isn't always better. You just need to get enough of them and the protein amounts for humans is just absolutely minuscule compared to something like carbohydrates. So I hope that cleared up a lot of the incomplete protein myths that are out there. And if you like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below. I'm trying to come out with videos multiple times a week. Uh, it's a little bit tougher right now since I'm coming into finals week, but I'm going to do my best to keep the videos coming out. And uh, yeah, I got my Facebook page and Pinterest down below if you want cool recipes. And I will see you later.